Hey everyone, I am back today with a tag video. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for joining me today. This uh, tag was created by Train Girl Megan, and I will link her video down below. I was tagged by Gwenny of Styled by Gwenny, and the name of this tag is Colorful Obsession. And I was so excited to do this one, and I actually gave it a lot of thought but it wasn't hard for me to come up with the color that uh, has basically made its way into so much of my home and my life and my collection because that color is blue, <laughs> as if you couldn't guess. But um, yeah, so today I'm just going to talk about a few things that I own that are in this color and maybe why I chose those colors I started thinking about like why I gravitate toward blue so much and um, it is a beautiful color and I wonder sometimes if it has something to do with my being from the Pacific Northwest, um, being from Seattle and we live in an area that is surrounded by water. Um, it's definitely a place that uh, offers so much beauty and nature all around and uh, the skies aren't always blue here but um, it's a beautiful place to live and that could be part of it also blue is um, easy to wear and I don't know I'm just really I just tend to pick things that are blue when there's a variety of different choices and one of them is blue and so Let's get started. I don't want this video to be too long. So I'm going, I didn't pick everything, obviously. <laughs> so I broke it up into categories. We're going to start with things that are smaller and work our way up into things that are bigger. The first thing I'm going to start with today is what's on my nails, which is a nail polish that I recently got from Target. And it's on my nails right now. It's a beautiful dark blue from Sally Hansen called Midnight Mod, and it's number 609. And let's see, there we go. It's really just a great dark navy blue. I have another blue nail polish from OPI. It's called You're So Euro. And this one has a little bit more of a purpley undertone to it and I actually have a bag that matches this and I'll show that to you a little later. The next category is stationery. So I ha don't talk about this much on my channel yet but I really love um, fountain pens, ink, stationery, letter writing, um, handwriting, paper crafting. <laughs> having too many of these objects in my collection. So I just chose a few that are blue. Um, the first thing is from Note & Wish. Now that is a beautiful stationery company based in England. Um, they sell wax seals and wax beads, where so you can make a wax seal on your letter. I bought a little tin of these beads last year. I don't know if I can get them on camera but they are a gorgeous metallic teal blue color. And yeah, they, they sell washi tape. They have stationery. They're just super high quality note and wish. And I got them off Etsy. I will link them down below if you're interested in checking them out. Um, I also have one of my favorite fountain pens. This is by Platinum, and it is the Century 3776 fountain pen. <laughs> if I could just get that to focus, there we go. It is a very dark cobalt blue color pen, and I have this one in the medium, the medium um, nib. It is the smoothest, one of the smoothest nibs I have in my collection. If you know about fountain pens, you'll know what that means. Um, and I have three bottles of ink that are blue. I might have more, but I brought three. This is Bay State Blue by Noodlers. This was the one I often had in that platinum pen. It is 
super blue and it has a reputation for staining and it's really quite dangerous <laughs> to get on anything. In fact, it's been known to actually stain pens. And so if you're putting in a pen, you gotta make sure you just put it in that pen. Or when you clean your pen, you really clean it super well. Um, the next ink is by Pilot um, from the Hiroshizuku collection. This is Kanpeki, which is an, a more true blue color. And uh, showing the bottle is not really showing the ink. So actually I might insert some ink swatches up here so you can actually see what these inks look like on paper because this bottle doesn't, I mean, it's a bottle of ink. It's just gonna look black. Like here's the pigment ink from Platinum that is also just called blue. But the bottles are really pretty. Some of them, like the, um, the Pilot one, I think it looks like a perfume bottle. It's super beautiful. So I have a bunch of bottles of ink, but we're not gonna just talk about that in this video. <laughs> we're just talking about things that are blue. Also, my favorite coffee cup, at least right now anyway, is this blue one. Different shades of blue. I got this from Starbucks last, earlier this year. I'm not a big Starbucks person. I actually don't really love going to Starbucks, but I did see this um, in the Starbucks cafe inside the grocery store and I loved it so I got it <laughs> so this is the coffee cup I'm drinking out of a lot lately um, I have a blue uh, bag charm my favorite one uh, my favorite blue one anyway it's from coach and this one's of several years old it is a big got a big gold chains on it and it's got these blue acrylic balls that make a little noise. They're almost like billiard balls. It's really heavy for a bag charm. It's fairly heavy and um, it's just awesome. I wear this on my um, Damier Azure Speedy 25 all the time. I think it looks great with Damier Azure. The next category is SLGs that are blue. <laughs> and so obviously my Gucci Marmont card holder which is a gorgeous sapphire color. This came out in the spring um, with all the other gem colors. I got this um, kind of to go with my emerald green uh, Marmont camera bag. It has a green trim around the edge that you can see. I was going to get the green one to match, but then I was like, that'll be too matchy matchy. And plus I really love the blue, so. I got this one. It's awesome. It has uh, five total card slots, two in the front, or two in the front, two in the back, and then the one in the center. This is one of my favorite, favorite card holders. The other SLG that has blue is this one from Coach, and it's looking a little dark on camera, but it is a very dark blue. This is from the Special Edition 2004 collection. It's got some signature jacquard fabric on the back. It's got a decorative buckle, a magnetic closure, leather on the inside, suede right here. And then I use it, usually, I don't use it as a wristlet. I just use it as a pouch to carry cards and things like that inside. It's just, Awesome. It comes with a wrist strap, but I don't have it on here right now because I'm using this inside my bag right now. Uh, the next item is a Gucci Blooms scarf or shawl with the blue flowers. And I picked this up earlier this year from the Real Real at a pretty awesome price. Um, shout out to Autumn Beckman because she told us all on her channel about how uh, the real real had a bunch of these and they did and so i went and i grabbed one i think it was it wound up being i don't remember maybe like 50 percent off i think what happened is the real real sometimes gets overstock from the um outlets especially the gucci outlet so they'll wind up with like 30 different backpack or 30 backpacks that are the same or in this case you know a dozen gucci shawls it's a really light, lightweight shawl, but you can double it up to make it warmer. 
and uh, they had it in several different colors and I of course picked blue. And let's talk about bags. First of all is a coach bag. I mentioned this in my coach collection video. This is the Canyon quilted small pouch and it has a patchwork blue denim throughout and black leather and it's really super awesome. You can see it has little skulls hidden in the print. I love this little bag. It's just the, it's great if you just want something very small to carry your essentials. It's got two compartments, one in the back, one in the front. You can just carry just the essentials, card holder, phone, keys, and it's got a crossbody strap too. The next bag is um, one that you haven't seen on my channel before. This is probably my cheapest bag, <laughs> my least expensive bag. It is a big giant blue snake print tote from Vince Camuto. And I, I think I might've gotten this at like Macy's like years ago. I love it though. It's nice quality for the price, which I think was like $140. And it's got like little zip up detail on the side. It's got two handles plus a crossbody strap. The snake embossing is actually really nice. And um, I haven't had any problems with this bag. The inside is a microfiber and it's got, you know, really nice zipper tab um, holes on it. So it's a great, like, you know, just knock around type of tote that just happens to have blue leather and a blue snakeskin print. So, um, yeah, I don't carry it that often anymore, but I do still like it. It's actually really great. It has a nice little slouch to it when it's full. And, uh, yeah, it's just a cute printed snake tote bag. The next blue bag is actually kind of a teal bag, and it is from Rebecca Minkoff. This is the morning after bag. This was the first really famous handbag that she came out with. It is a leather satchel. It has the black and white dash lining and all of the other little details that, you know, don't, she doesn't really have any more in her bags, like this metal plate on the inside and everything is like trimmed in matching leather. Lots of hardware. This was from the probably around 2010 maybe, I could be wrong, but that kind of time period is when this particular bag came out. It has lots of hardware, humongous dog leash clips and you know rings and um, lots of tassels all over the place. So there was a lot, th those bags were like super busy, but I still love them. I only have one, I used to have three of these I had one in emerald green and I had one in a red color, like a burgundy red. But I sold those because I wasn't carrying them that often, but I decided to just keep one and have it be, of course, the blue one. It has a shoulder strap and these big, huge handles, and it's just a great leather bag and um, a great piece to have from that era of Rebecca Minkoff. So this is the morning after bag. The third blue bag in my collection is Marc Jacobs. Oh, look at all the stuff I have hanging off of it. Marc Jacobs Classic Q Fran bag, tote in electric stage blue. And yes, it matches this nail polish, <laughs> which I think is kind of cool. This is absolutely gorgeous. The leather is amazing and again it's probably about 10 8 or 10 years old this um it, i got the little coin purse to go with it and i got both i think i got both of these off ebay because by the time um i found out about them it would you know it was no longer in stock this particular charm 
is coach and it matches. Let me just show this to you. It's a cute little coin purse, kiss lock coin purse, uh, bag charm. I think this is from 2013, maybe 2012, but they had a few bags in this print, in this purpley blue zebra print, and I grabbed the bag charm. It's just so awesome. And it happens to go with this Marc Jacobs. So I absolutely love this bag. Again, because it is so full of leather, it's a little bit heavier than I'm used to these days, but I still wear it from time to time. It's got a magnetic closure. It's got the M, um, yeah, MBMJ, Mark by Mark Jacobs lining. It also has a detachable shoulder strap and I just can't even describe how soft and squishy this leather is. It's just a dream. Um, yeah, I highly recommend this bag if you wanted another great piece from Mark by Mark Jacobs. I have owned quite a few Mark Jacobs bags. My very first luxury handbag was Mark Jacobs. It was the Blake, which came out in, which I bought in 2005. And it was like such a big deal because it was like $900 and I could not believe I was spending that much money on a purse. It was black leather. Um, I think I can probably put a picture up here. It had push lock um, pockets on the front, which he did on uh, many of his bags back then and some Louis Vuitton bags too. And uh, the whole thing was lined in suede so you had suede on the inside and then leather on the outside and then hardware all over it. So it weighed a ton. I mean, it was like, even without anything in it, it was so heavy. And, um, and then I'd put my things in it and then go to work. And my arm was like killing me by the time I got to the office. I was like commuting on the train and uh, it was just crazy. So I, I didn't keep it because I, it was just, while it was beautiful and it smelled so good, I just could not get over it. Um, I just didn't want to carry it once I started buying more lightweight bags. So anyway, this one does not have that issue. It does have a nice, you know, nylon lining. It's way lighter to carry. Plus, you can carry it on your shoulder. And the Blake did not have a shoulder strap. It only had handles. But that's the way it was in the mid-2000s. The last blue bag in my collection is, of course, the Gucci Ophidia tote in the denim my most recent gucci purchase what more can i say about this beautiful tote it is gorgeous it's got the classic supreme print it has leather on the bottom and on the corners and it is denim so i already know that it's going to be a little more fragile got to be careful with it so it doesn't pill and doesn't get stained. Inside I put a Zumoni organizer which I love. It fits perfectly inside and oh there's a receipt in here. <laughs> I guess I didn't fully clean this out last time I carried it but yeah I this is just a great tote. It's um it's just super cute. It's on trend and it's Gucci so you really can't go wrong and I love it. So I wonder if there's anything else. I'm sure there's lots of other blue things that I could talk about. Um, I did want to mention this, um, this candle holder. This is from Glassy Baby, which is a Seattle-based glass company. They do candle holders and other glassware, but mainly they do candle holders. You put a tea light in there and it's just, so beautiful and why can't this thing focus there we go it's just gorgeous the colors are stunning they glow um, they have ones that are clearer and they have ones that are more opaque and they have ones that are multicolored and have all kinds of designs in them they're all handmade in Seattle so made in the United States and I have quite a few of these but this blue one is one of my favorites 
also wanted to share this blue fragrance bottle. This is Versace Dylan Turquoise. Um, I really love this fragrance. And of course the bottle is turquoise and gorgeous. That about does it for the colorful obsession tag. Thanks again to Gwenny for tagging me. I hope that I did a good job with this one. It was really fun to go through all of my things and pick out the blue things that I like the best. And it was kind of hard because there's a lot of it. Hopefully this video is not too long. And thank you for watching all the way to the end. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate if you give me a thumbs up. And if you enjoy my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe and check out what I've got coming up this month. I'm trying to make videos once a week. That's about all I can commit to right now. And so hopefully I'll have something coming up for you next week. I haven't decided what it is yet, but I do have a bunch of ideas written down in my little notebook. Thank you again, and I hope you and your family are having a great day. Bye. Bye.